Welcome to Impact with AI. I'm your host, Brandon Andrews. I'm excited to dive into another conversation with an entrepreneur using artificial intelligence to impact the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Today, I'm joined by Tiffany Pham, CEO of Mogul AI, and we're going to get into a conversation about SDG5, gender equality. Tiffany, welcome to the conversation. Really excited to hear updates from you about Mogul AI. To begin with, how are you and Mogul AI driving impact? Thank you so much, Brandon. I'm excited to be here with you. You know, I respect the work of yourself and the United Nations team so much. So excited to be joining hands and really talking about this effort. Um, Mogul, we're doing everything we can, you know, to support the SDGs. Mogul AI specifically helps in the gender inequity aspects of the SDG and ultimately working to help on the decent work and economic growth SDG 8 as well, um, and ultimately reducing overall potential poverty and equities overarchingly as a result. So Mogul AI, we work with um, on these SDGs through our software offering, of course, by partnering with some of the greatest companies around the world when they're hiring for talent, you know, and reducing their biases and enabling their efficiencies and bringing in more talent inside their company. Again, all of which leads to a reduction or acceleration in the right ways for these SDGs. Wow, that sounds like great work, Tiffany. Thank you for sharing that. And thanks for the work that you and the team at Mogul AI are doing. Now let's talk about SDG5, gender equality specifically. Tiffany, as you know, since the SDGs were launched several years ago, a lot of great work has been happening around the world to move these goals forward by the end of the goal period 2030. Unfortunately, many of the goals are behind. And if you look at SDG5 gender equality, some estimates say it could take 300 years for us to reach gender equality, which is the goal for SDG5. I know the work that you and Mobile AI are doing is accelerating our progress towards the goal, but let's hear a little bit more about what you're doing specifically. How are you impacting SDG5 uh, at Mogul AI? Yeah, great question. You know, Mogul AI, what we do is we streamline the recruitment process end to end for our clients, right? That's the overarching um, top line vision of what we do for our clients in terms of being able to help them be more effective, efficient, and ultimately more comprehensive in their efforts. And if you think about it, by enabling someone to be more comprehensive in their recruitment efforts, it lets them to be more inclusive. Mm -hmm. More comprehensiveness leads to more inclusivity, but more particularly the ways in which we do that throughout our software on a tactical level that then overarchingly contributes to SDG 5 is that across everything that we touch, it leads to more gender equality. For example, uh, one of the first parts that we have is a database of 700 million candidates made wow. up of largely women, of course. And so it enables our clients to go in and search and source through these candidates. And to especially be inclusive, we provide them with inclusivity filters, the ability to source through male, female, Hispanic, Black, Asian, or Caucasian talent, for example, Hispanic, I mean, sorry, as well as veterans, people with disabilities, all aspects of inclusion, not mm -hmm. for exclusivity purposes, but always for inclusivity purposes mm -hmm. as per our terms and conditions. So as a result, again, clients can source through effectively, efficiently, more comprehensively, leading to more inclusivity. And then thereafter, as they source through, they're able to optimize the JD. If they have an existing job description, for example, oftentimes it may have language that's not neutral and inclusive and ultimately, you know, unbiased. Mm -hmm. So therefore we have tools that ensure for that and ensure unbiased, again, language, inclusive language that will draw more, therefore, inclusive, diverse talent to apply. So as they're sourcing through and or when they're receiving candidates, then it's again enabling more equity throughout uh, the talent applying and or being sourced. Um, and then subsequently, we then have tools that then enable, again, um, clients to then be able to outreach this talent in an unbiased manner, you mm -hmm. know, really consider who is the right one for the role, the best person for the role. And again, through this unbiased tool and system and process that we provide, it allows for more women to be considered for a role that might have otherwise been considered. 
And then finally, we have also services, you know, search services where we are regularly brought into companies that have underrepresentation of women mm -hmm. in the roles or certain teams or functions. And as a result, they bring in Mogul because leveraging our technology, again, unbiased technology that enables for more inclusivity. They know that our in-house experts that are brought in for search services using our own technology and a more comprehensive methodology will lead to then more representation across the pipeline and across the leadership roles that we hire for. So all together, this helps to achieve more gender equality across the board, across you know, leadership roles across the workplace, across the workforce. And so that's how Mogo AI contributes towards gender equality, SDG5. Thanks for that response, Tiffany. You know, one of the specific metrics for SDG5 is representation in corporate and professional settings. And it sounds like you are certainly helping to move that part of the goal forward uh, as, as you are uh, the broader goal as well. Now let's get into artificial intelligence. Of course, the name of your company is Mogul AI. Tiffany, how are you using artificial intelligence at Mogul AI to drive impact? So it has been so exciting to transform this organization that was already a decade old, you know, to mm -hmm. ultimately now be, you know, one of the top leaders in AI recruitment globally because we leveraged Mogul across, I mean, we leveraged AI across every feature of the organization, mm -hmm. uh, platform, the system, the software, our processes. So internally, we became an AI organization through our infrastructure, but externally, again, for our clients, we decided to embed AI across everything that we touch. And as a result, everything's been rerun through AI. And again, the transformation of Mogul to Mogul AI has been complete. And so what we do is we again use AI to power features where comprehensiveness, efficiency, effectiveness would have been, you know, desired to mm -hmm. really ensure that clients could be more comprehensive in sourcing the talent. For example, we use AI to enable that. Um, we use AI to power, you know, the metrics, for example, you know, the status of all uh, of whom our clients are sourcing and how they're outreaching to them and, you know, um, how they're building their pipelines and all the various metrics and and ratios and progress reports, you know, are powered by AI. So as to mm -hmm. really again help optimize the efforts of our clients. So you've got AI again powering the sourcing aspects, the metrics aspects. You have AI powering even the neutrality and unbiased nature of job descriptions, again, through that feature that we have introduced for JD optimization. Mm -hmm. So just uh, even power of AI through that, you know, by enabling again, um, using AI's, you know, uh, effectiveness of uh, reading through these descriptions and recommending the right ways in which to again, ensure neutrality and inclusivity. So anyways, we use AI through that for that. And then we also use AI for other aspects such as um, also um, reading through the job description, reading through the candidates' respective profiles and resumes mm -hmm. and doing a similarity search, you know, mm -hmm. thinking about all of the factors that a human recruiter might have typically considered um, after looking at a resume for five, 10 minutes, thinking about whether they would have interviewed that person or not. Typically, after they've done that, you know, for one resume, 10 resumes, 100 resumes, they might just give up mm -hmm. because after 100 resumes, like they might, you know, just think to themselves, oh, perhaps I a probably have seen enough resumes by now. We could just pick one of the one one hundred, you know, one of the one hundred. Mm -hmm. Probably don't need to look at the next one hundred fifty or so, since the average job might receive one fifty to two hundred fifty job uh, applications. For example, mm -hmm. they might just go ahead and kind of not look at those other resumes. And furthermore, even of the ones they have looked at, they might have introduced human bias throughout. Mm -hmm. So it's our job with our tool to again enable more. Um, equality across all that applied, ensure more comprehensiveness, ensure therefore that all the talent that deserved, that deserved to be considered got considered. And so our AI technology with all of its power can efficiently, effectively read through all those resumes within seconds and then auto weight and auto distribute the factors of which, you know, a human recruiter might have typically considered uh, a resume and then auto rank those resumes accordingly. And so anyways, all of that is one of the, many, many examples and reasons mm -hmm. why AI can be so efficient for 
creating a more effective um, recruitment process and therefore allow for more equality and equity throughout a pipeline. Makes sense to me. So eliminating bias, sorting through these big uh, data sets as it sounds like you have, and ultimately hopefully delivering better results for the clients, the organization that you're working for, which is a more inclusive workforce. Uh, all of that sounds like a great use of artificial intelligence. You know, we always hear about the things that AI could do or can do in the future. It's great to see what it's doing today for you and the organizations that you work with. Okay, Tiffany, time for our big question that I'm asking everyone I've talked to. Do you think AI can rescue the sustainable development goals? Oh, absolutely. It can do so much to help significantly advance the SDGs. It's exciting. I mean, they're going to be able to, or AI is, has the amazing potential to help accelerate across so many of the SDGs. Um, across healthcare, for example, it can help accelerate the development of vaccines and mm -hmm. medical treatments, such as it did, you know, with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, it can help with rapid testing and um, in, in terms of um, environmental sustainability, since I mentioned everything regarding to healthcare, um, environmental sustainability can help reduce, in, you know, um, in the ways in which we currently Im impact climate, because obviously it's modeling climate change impacts, it's optimizing resources or helping us to do so, mm -hmm. um, and environmental footprints. It's able to help in agriculture. It's able to help in education, quality education, SDG4, their personalized learning environments and tools that are needed by each individual student. Um, and of course, with economic inclusion, just as I described mm -hmm. by helping with gender inequality and, um, and more uh, through the lens of the workforce, um, it can create, again, so much acceleration there. And so it's exciting to see that despite some of the lagging behind, you know, that we felt um, was the current status of the SDGs, AI can now help accelerate it and help it leapfrog even beyond what we had hoped. I think that's what everyone would love to see, AI accelerating the progress that we're making on sustainable development and potentially even, as you said, leapfrogging, pushing us beyond some of the uh, original SDG metrics. I think that's something everyone would love to see by 2030. Tiffany, thank you again so much for joining us today for our Impact with AI SDG conversation about SDG 5, gender equality. Tiffany, where can people find more about mobile AI, connect with you, and maybe partner with you? Thank you. I mean, it's, it's been so fun to be here with you and talking about AI for good. Um, I love this series and I just um, am a big fan of AI and I'm just excited to see all that it can do. And in terms of following me, connecting with me, connecting with Mogul AI, feel free to go to onmogul.com where of course we share all that we do with AI for the workplace. Uh, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn, Tiffany Pham, uh, P-H-A-M on LinkedIn or else on Instagram. I'm on both platforms and always connecting with our incredible clients or customers, advocates, um, candidates, and more. So excited to support you all and hear from you. Thank you. Thanks again, Tiffany. And thanks for joining us, everyone, for our Impact with AI SDG conversation. If you'd like to see our other conversations, visit impactwithai.media or subscribe to our playlist on YouTube. See you next time.